the Pen Battle 3, the Pen Fierce 3, the Pen Spin Fisher 6. These are the Pen Saltwater Spinning Reels that fall in the $1 to $200 price bucket. And I can tell you right now, as you can tell, I have battle tested all three of these reels. These reels are absolute workhorses. They are beasts. I do not take very good care of them. I have beat the living hell out of them. They've held up to everything I've thrown at them. And let me tell you, they have pulled in some monster fish, y'all. So if you're considering buying any one of these three reels, which you probably are if you're watching this video, I can tell you right now, you're making a pretty good decision, no matter which way you go on these. So which one's right for you? What are the differences? Let's break them down. Let's talk about it. Here we go, y'all. First, let's talk about price. Like I said, these fall between one to $200 price range. Penn does make a cheaper model. It's called the Pursuit. It's in the $50 price bucket. If you wanna save some money, that might be the option for you. They also make the Authority, brand new for 2022 today. I have not seen it. And the Slammer, those are the higher end models, $250 to $500 range. Bigger, better, superior, I guess. I don't know, I haven't tried them. But this is the mid-tier range, the Battle of the Fierce and the Spin Fisher. So let's talk about what all three of these reels have in common. All three of these reels come between 2,500 and 8,000 size range. The Spin Fisher, for whatever reason, goes by increments of 500. So instead of having an 8,000, its Spin Fisher has an 8,500. I don't know why. The Battle and the Spin Fisher also go up to 10,000 size models. The Fierce does not, but it does come into an 8,000 model, which is what I got right here. This is the 10,000 model of the battle. It is a beast. This reel, I can get about 500 yards of 100 pound line on it. Monster size reel, y'all. Okay, so what do they all have in common? They are all saltwater rated. You can get these in the bay, inshore fishing, off the boat. They're gonna hold up pretty well. They are all saltwater rated reels. All three of these models have a full metal body. That means under pressure, under strain, fighting a big fish, this body is not going to flex on you. It is gonna hold up, it's gonna allow you to fight bigger fish in a bigger battle. Finding a spinning reel with a full metal body in the $100 price range is not all that common, so that's pretty nice. Next thing they all have in common, they all have CNC machined gears. What does that mean? CNC machining is more accurate and more precise than forged cast gears which means the gears are gonna be more accurate and more precisely manufactured, which is gonna make every one of these reels feel like you are casting and reeling in like butter, y'all. Silky smooth, silky smooth. <clears throat> All three reels have line capacity rings on the spool here. So you can see when you're running low on line, how much line you got left, how much line the fish is taken out. Also, all three reels have this rubber gasket on here. Penn calls this a super line spool, but what that rubber gasket means you can tie your braid directly to the spool. You do not need a monofilament backing. All three models of these also have carbon fiber drag washers and they all come with stainless steel ball bearings. Okay, so what does all that mean? That means you are gonna get a well-made reel with quality parts and not a whole lot of plastic going on there. Okay, so let's talk about the differences. The Fierce and the Spin Fisher have the live liner action. So what this live liner is, it is a second drag system. So. When the live liner is active, they can pull out drag, the fish can run. You click that off, boom, your main drag is activated. That works really well if you use a lot of rod holders. The battle does not have that feature. Now, the live liner feature does cost extra. It's about $20 more per size per reel. But these two models also come without that feature. All right, so let's talk about the individual reels. First, we will start with the Fierce. The Fierce price range is from $75 all the way up to about $130. The Live Liner option is extra. It is saltwater rated. Size range is from 2,500 to 8,000 models. This is an 8,000 model. Inside it has four stainless steel ball bearings. It has a max drag rating of 30 pounds, which is pretty good for the size. The gear ratio is a 531. It can hold about 390 yards of 65 pound braid, and it weighs in at 32 ounces. All right, let's talk about the battle next. So the battle price ranges from 120 to $170. It is also saltwater rated. It does not have the live liner option. Size ranges from a small 1,000 all the way up to a super large 10,000, which this is. It has five plus one ball bearings on the inside. It has a max drag rating of 30 pounds and it has a gear ratio of a 471. Now the 6,000 model and the 8,000 model have a high speed option with a gear ratio of 531. 
And for 65 pound braid, this can also hold 390 yards. And the Fierce comes in weighing around 27 ounces. So the Spin Fisher price ranges from $170, $250, has the live liner option. It does have the IPX5 waterproof ceiling and its size ranges from 2,500 all the way up to a 10,500. On the inside, it's got a five plus one ball bearing system. It has a max drag ratio of 40 pounds and it has a gear ratio of 471. And the Spin Fisher for 65 pound braid can hold 550 yards. And the Spin Fisher comes in weighing at 32 and a half ounces, guys. Okay, so what does all that mean now that I've completely lost you with a whole bunch of numbers? It means the Fierce is the cheapest option, has one less ball bearing, but does have the live liner option, and it also retrieves line the fastest. So the Battle is the middle price of all three reels here. It does not have the live liner option. It does have one extra ball bearing over the Fierce. It does retrieve slower unless you get the high speed models, but it does also weigh four and a half ounces less. The Spin Fisher is the most expensive of the three. It does have the live liner option. It does have the IPX5 waterproof rating, so it is better suited for heavy saltwater use. And it has 40 pounds of drag, which is more than the other two, to help you fight bigger fish easier. So if you're still on the fence of which one of these reels you want to get, you got to ask yourself a couple simple questions. Do you plan to mostly fish in saltwater or just occasionally fish in saltwater? If you plan to do heavy, heavy saltwater fishing, the Spin Fisher is probably the route to go. So the next question you gotta ask yourself is do you want the Live Liner? The Fierce has it, the Battle does not. So if you don't care about the Live Liner option, then either one of these two are a great option. So the Battle is more expensive than the Fierce, and that extra money on the Battle, it gives you one extra ball bearing to make everything more smooth when you're reeling and casting, and it also reduces four and a half ounces of weight. It's really gonna come down to your personal choice. Does the extra money for the ball bearing and the weight make sense in your financial situation? Uh, if that doesn't really matter a whole lot to you, then the Fierce is a great, great option. So after battle testing all three of these reels, guys, I can tell you right now that you are gonna get one good reel. You're gonna get a quality reel made with quality parts. I have literally beat the hell out of these reels. I have put them through the stress tests. I absolutely love every single one of them. Uh, my style of fishing, I prefer the Live Liner models. I personally have three of the Fierce models. I use a 4,000 and a 3,000 for catfish and carp fishing. I have the 8,000 model here that I use for large catfish and big alligator gar. I can tell you right now, I have pulled in 75 plus pound alligator gar with these reels. They handled it with no issues. These are absolute tanks built to last, guys. Personally, I have had cheaper reels and these have outlasted all of my cheaper reels. So I am a firm believer in buy once, buy right. And uh, you really can't go wrong with any of these reels, guys. Well, I hope this video helped you make a decision on which one you want to buy. If it did, if you found anything useful, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and check out my channel page. I got a whole bunch of fishing videos on there if you haven't seen them already. If you haven't done so, think about subscribing. And if you feel I missed anything, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear anyone else's opinion on these reels. And I want to thank everyone for watching. And I'll see you out on the water, guys. Thanks.